I guarantee you, any time a discussion comes up about aging images, there'll be another discussion that comes up about the quote-unquote Ansel Adams effect. You can type that into the internet. Everybody's got their own idea on how to do that. Let me be honest with you here, because I always am honest. There is no Ansel Adams effect in Photoshop. I'm sorry. You can get more contrast, but the only way to really achieve the Ansel Adams effect is to do what I do with my students at university. I have them make wet plates, and we go out and take photographs with those wet plates, and we have high chromatic contrast film photographs. But with that said, Ansel Adams was my hero. Let's go ahead and do this. File, and go into Browse and Bridge. Open up two things. Ansel Adams, Snake River, and Ansel Adams, PSD, these two. This photograph right here, very famous. Took him all day to take that photograph. It's in the public domain. It's the Snake River photograph. Now there is the Ansel Adams effect. The other problem with this effect is it really only works well if you're working in landscapes with clouds. And I guarantee you, almost every photo I've ever seen in any book written by anybody, including ones that I've written, were using this type of photo because that's where you get the dramatic effect. You try this effect on a portrait or something else, you're not going to like it. It's not going to work. Now, with that said, let's go to my photograph here. I want the Ansel Adams effect for this photograph. You might already know where I'm going with this. Come down to the half moon icon, which of course is the button for adjustment layers, and go into Channel Mixer. That's where we're going to do it. In Channel Mixer, let me move this over. Turn on Monochrome. That gets the process started. Next step is we need to change the reds, the greens, and the blues to get that contrast effect different values, but what you try to make sure you do here is you try to make sure that that number stays as close to 100% as possible. So what we're going to do is change our red to about 140. Don't worry about what it looks like. We're going to change our greens to about 160. I know it looks like it's blown out. That's fine. Now grab blue and drag it all the way to the left. There's the basic Ansel Adams effect. If I go back to Ansel's photograph, similar, similar. Lots of high contrast, but I want more. Now we can change our constant down here. Now the constant actually allows me to overall lighten or darken the image up even more, if that's what I want to do. But that's sky. Look at Ansel's sky. I mean, the blue areas are almost black, but mine aren't. So what do we do? Well, I add one more piece to the Ansel Adams equation here. Come down and add one more adjustment layer, and we're going to use the one called Curves. In Curves, we're going to do Andy's magic contrast thingy, which everybody does, actually. Put a point right here. I'll move it up. All right, that's more of an Ansel Adams sky. Very contrasting. The blue areas are almost black, which is typical with high chromatic films. That looks more like Ansel Adams, but this area we just wiped out. I want curves to only adjust the sky. I think we know how to do this. Let's come over here. Let's bring this back over into this area so we can get it out of the way for a minute. Come over and pick up your magic wand tool and choose a tolerance of about 45. I've been playing around with this one in practice. That number works pretty good here. Come down and select background and get right about here and click. That's not too bad. Got almost the whole thing. Hold the shift key down and click that one spot here if you even have that. And not too bad. We'll say that's good. Come over here. Make sure you select the curves adjustment layer. I'm telling the computer I want to adjust just the sky, nothing else. So I have to black out all the trees. We're going to come up to the word select inverse. Now with the curves adjustment layer selected, fill that area on the mask with black by pressing alt backspace. So assuming you have black as your foreground color, of course. And there you go. We've restored the original areas. Our sky to me looks a little bit more Ansel Adams. This one right here is okay down here now, and it looks better up here. The Ansel Adams effect is cool. I do like it. 
Everybody's got their own little way to make it work. But in reality, no matter what you do, you're probably not going to get exactly what happens with chromatic films. But this is a good try.